Dear friends, on the screen you are able to see a man called John J. Ingalls, one of the very important and remarkable poetry which is composed was Opportunity. And I really agree with him. He has really composed in a very beautiful way and its meaning is you are born with the power of your mind. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe in, you can achieve it. But you have to be determined, committed, very, very serious about your life. Because life gives you everything what you demand from your life. I bargained with life for a penny and life would pay no more. However, I begged in the evening when I counted my scanty store. Life is an implied, it gives you what you ask, but once you have set the ways, why you must bear the task. I worked for a menial hire only to learn dismay. Whatever ways I could have asked of life, life would have willingly paid. Dear friends, so I tell you, everyone is blessed with one life and opportunity comes with time. You should use your opportunity very seriously. There are very few who got a wonderful opportunity. All the support came from every corner. But unfortunately, if the person is not very serious, careless, just not knowing what they are doing, a definite purpose is there. The alliance partner is also there. They are also going extra mile, believe in faith is there, but not serious. Seriousness is very, very important. You have to be so much careful that you keep your body absolutely fit and your mind absolutely concentrated and focused because once the opportunity is gone, once the opportunity is gone and you love something so dearly and deeply, your dreams were lofty but your effort were not in proportion to your dreams, your life will become very miserable. And not only that, the people who really stay everything for you, they become also beggar, they become broke. So I caution all my beloved friends, read this poem very carefully. I can recite this poem later on directly, but I present before you so that you can read yourself. Opportunity poem by John James Ingalls. Master of human destinies am I? Fame, love and fortune on my footsteps wait. Cities and fields I walk. I penetrate deserts and sea remote and passing by hovels and mart and palace soon or late. I knock unbidden once at every gate. If sleeping wake, if fisting rise before I turn away. This is the hour of fate. And they those who follow me reach every state, mortals desire and conquer every foe, save death. But those who doubt or hesitate, condemned to failure, a penury and you, they seek me in vain and uselessly implore, I answer not, I return no more. Now I will prefer to come face to face. Dear friends, this is Fakir Yogi Vredri Yogi. See, there are so many charming things on this earth. The best cars, the best house, the wonderful earth planet. You can go anywhere, you can buy any car, you can enjoy all the beautiful things on your life, whatever your desires and dreams. But for this, you have to be successful. It means you have to realize your goal in life so that you will earn a lot of money. Of course, money is not the criteria to be a very happy person. But with money, you can buy most of the things on this planet earth. As I am Fakir Yogi, Vrindri Yogi, I give very less importance to the material things. I concentrate more on enlighten, enlightenment, wisdom, Gautam, Siddhartha and Buddha, we are my guru and guide. But even to me, I have to wear clothes, I have to shelter myself, I have to eat my food, I have to drive one of the best cars, the SUV and the, the sports car and I have to stay in a palatial building, I have to have some hundreds of acres of land because these are necessary for me to be happy. You cannot deny the material possessions is not the right way to make you happy. But for this, I was very serious and in my seriousness, 
I also supported some of my members of the family, but unfortunately till now they have done nothing. So this is, poetry is very, very important. Master of human destiny am I. Fame, love and fortune on my footsteps wait. Cities and fields I walk. I penetrate deserts and passing by hovels and mud palaces soon or late. If sleeping wake, if fisting rise before I turn away. This is the hour of fate. And those who follow me reach every estate. Mortals desire, conquer every force of death. And those who doubt and hesitate, condemn to failure, pen your row, seek me when uselessly improve. Bottom line, be very serious. There is only one friendship that is between goal, dreams and desire. Maintain a very sound physical health and a very focused, concentrated, brilliant mind which are your, like your best wish. And there is nothing which cannot prevent you from becoming the person of your dream. You will be what you will to be. Be patient, persevere, persist, strive and seek every different ways and means. Otherwise, you will not die easily. Your whole life will be carrying a burden of your dead body. You yourself, nobody else. Careless people who do not understand the importance of opportunity. You spend all the money. You did everything. Destroyed all the important time of your life. And now you are just useless fellows. Shame. I pity on all of you brothers and sisters who do not teach their children how to be very responsible, very sincere. Children do not know exactly what is right or wrong. But it is the right motivation, inspiration, guidance, supervision that they should move in the right direction. As you are driving your car, putting the steering on the right track and giving all the infrastructure facilities so that the car is well fed with fuel and all the mechanical systems are working. Similarly, you have to drive your children to reach a glorious moment in their life. Otherwise, child will be ruined and you become beggar and broke. Come on, arise, you make a stop knot. Till you have become a person of your dream. It is never too late. Anytime, every time, you will be what you will to be. Again, I focus on this beautiful poem by John James Singel. Master of human destiny I am. Okay, thank you.